Cheer up. Kunyan. Okay, folks, we're going to be working on single knife hand low block or sonal are maki. It is found on page 36 of your sport pumse book. And we use it during paljong, so we're going to get a chance to practice it as a paljong technique today. So single knife hand low block, it's at the last line of paljong. You're going to shoot through and you're going to come through here. I actually use it a little bit before that, but I want, we're going to, this is the one we're going to practice. So I want for you to start with your palm down and knife hand. So one is fisted and one is knifed. Set your knife on your collarbone. I don't care which side you do, palm out. We're going to do this in a front stance. So you already know what your front stance is. Please make that strong and really work on pulling your shoulder, bit, shoulder blades back as you execute. So right now I'm firm but relaxed. My shoulders are over my hips and it's got nice, good power. I'm going to pull my arm straight back. And as I do the last 20%, I'm going to turn that over. And that's my turbo hand. You've heard me talk about this before. That turbo hand is what's going to give you a lot of power if you use it at the same time you're executing your out, your low block with your knife. When you do that, when you do that motion, you're going to have so much more power if these hands are working together. We talk about unity of the body, making sure the hand and feet arrive at the same time, making sure the hand techniques start and stop together, make sure their torque happens at the same time. That is where you're going to get your power from because as your body unifies, you become a master at being able to get so much out of less. And what I mean by that is I see someone that has a big body that doesn't have a lot of power where you might have someone who's small and really knows how to use their power and unify their body using it 100% and, and, and utilizing their speed. Wow, you can see some crazy good technique. Okay, here we go. So, knife hand, palms, uh, pinky side on your collarbone, fisted hand floating out in front of you. Okay, make sure your thumb is tucked. I tend to, if I float my fingers open, they're not supposed to be, so keep them tight. So as you go through, your hip's gonna be open a little bit, boom. And when you get to this position, which is one hand width from your knee, okay? It's not here, it's not here. I see a lot of people do this. Well, they can still attack you here, so get it down. And this is an, inver this is an inverted knife. So you're right down here in that knife hand block, okay? Your opposite hand is pulling back, float, Strike, float, strike, float, squeeze, float, squeeze your shoulders, float, squeeze, float, squeeze your glutes. Okay, let's practice this together. Pull that back. There's so many things to keep in mind, which is why it requires practice. You can't just do it little pieces at a time. You, I mean, you can, and as you get going, just make sure you keep adding to it, not just doing something different. Okay, you can focus on different things, but you want to make sure you're pulling in all the other unification tools you've been using. Here we go. Ha, I'm going to do 10 of them on each side. Ready? Hana. Do. Set. Net. Toss it. Yas it. Ilgo. Yado. Aho. Kyo. One of the things I want you to realize too, anytime you have a bent elbow that you're throwing into, you want to use this as your fulcrum. So you throw the elbow and then execute that arm and then just squeeze it right before it gets to full extension so you don't hyperextend it. You don't want to hyperextend that, okay? Let's try the other side. Okay, float out your back hand, your front hand, nice and tight knife on the collarbone. Open your hips, ready? Pull, squeeze, squeeze all together. Ready? Hana, nice and slow, Do. Nice and slow. Set. Reset. Net. Toss it. Yas it. Elbow. Yado. Aho. Kyo. Beautiful. Keep practicing this at home. It will help. The fun part about it is as you practice one technique and keep using those unification tools in the next technique, pretty soon, your becomes second nature and your body is unifying just out of natural concepts all over the place. So keep at it. Keep working hard. I look forward to seeing you at Black Belt Testing. Cheer up. Kunyan. Please comment below if you have any questions. I would love to hear from you.